got a request from Lizzie to do Aslan from Narnia. So there's a lot of people out there that are like, who is that? I don't know what that is. So um, there is a book by C.S. Lewis called Narnia or the, there's a whole series, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. And Aslan is also known as the Great Lion. He's the creator and the true king of the world of Narnia. So there is Aslan. I just did the head of it because I thought the face was cool. So I want you down the middle of your page. Do a line so we know where the middle is. Dun -ga -dun. Dun -ga -da 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 -da. Right down the middle, okay? Now off of that middle, we are going to do its hairline. So it's gonna, it's almost like doing like a heart. So you're doing like a heart, like, but we're not gonna bring it around. And then we're just gonna bring it out. So whatever we do on one side, we are doing on the other side. Okay, so we are going to bring it a little in and out. So it's gonna come in and out. And if you look right here, this is this is a little farther out than this. Same with this, okay? And it's gonna come down. This is its cheek on either side. And then at the bottom here, we wanna make sure we have enough. So right where it comes in, if you come across like this, the bottom of the eyes, you see that? Then, mm, a little bit below the cheeks, mm, this is where the nose is. And then if you come from here to here, about even from here, you see how it's kind of even? Um, this is where the, the, the mouth's gonna start, okay? So you kinda can, can picture how that is separated. Okay? So on that line, we are going to have his eyes. And the eyes are actually my favorite part. Uh, actually, my eyes are general, just, I love eyes. So we're gonna make it straight across the toe. It's gonna be arched here. Well, that's my top toe, though. It's windy. And then it's gonna come down, but don't touch. You're gonna make the upper lid a little thicker. Okay. So it's going to come down, touch that line, and then it's going to bring out, oh, that looks cool. See how that looks good? So it's going to come down to that line, and then you want to bring it up, because this is going to be all colored in right here. And we're going to put the shiny and the pupil. See how little pupil? He's intense right there. Okay, shiny, pupil, all right. All right, so now let's work on the nose. So the nose can be down here, but it's gonna have an arch. So we're gonna make a slight arch here. So what you would do on one side, we're doing the other, and then we're going to bring it together. Now, it comes in a little bit. So right here, we wanna make a nostril but then we're gonna make the nostril come in. I know that's a little confusing. This will be sharpied in. So it's gonna come in just a little bit if you look on there. Slightly in. So same thing over here. We have the nostril, but then we want to arch to come in. I guess it's kind of more, comes out more. Okay, so I think we can erase um, this center line. We don't need it anymore. All right, it's looking good. Oh, we don't need it. So down here, this is its bottom of its mouth. And you can put some hairs in here. Oh, that looks good. And you'll put a little bit of a um, little Sharpie in there. Okay, now we wanna put its, um, oh, I forgot it's like whiskers here. So we can you can always add whiskers if you want. They're white whiskers, that's the problem. Hmm, I wonder if we added white, but maybe you can add white whiskers after. So with a little baby Sharpie, we draw its little whisker holes. Do the same thing on this side. All right, and then his 
eyes are gonna come out like this. His nose, and it's a little, it's gonna come a little dark right here. Okay, it's looking good. Now, the rest up here, it's just gonna be where you don't color. So we're not gonna color in right here or right here, and not gonna color in right here right here. We're going to try to keep that white and then under its eyes too. You want to not color it. We're not going to sharpie that part. I'm just showing you where not to color. Okay. And then we're going to make this part above the nose when we color it lighter and then keep this pretty light too. Okay. So for its mane. Yes. Start from here and then we're going to just make some hairs coming out of this mane. So we're gonna do, first we're gonna do the main hairs and then we're gonna fill them in with little hairs. So we'll just start with that and then now we're going to just keep filling in with big pieces of hair all the way around and then we'll fill it in with So do this all the way around. have lines have tons of hair okay so that's like the main part and then you're gonna come in do you see I put the little wispies in there so then you're just gonna come in and just put smaller pieces but to fill it in oh I forgot its ears you guys see its ears up there? Okay, so right about, mm, we're still right here. We got some ears here. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Bloop. Put some ears in there. Okay, and then we will start filling this in. What else do I know? Okay, so um, in 1939, um, three girls, Margaret, Mary, and Catherine, were evacuated from London. No, this is a true story, people. True story. Um, because of the anticipated bombing. And they were sent to live at the Lewis home. So these three girls were the inspiration. Um, so they lived out in the country because Lewis lived out in the country. Ooh, I'm getting the sun. Go away, sun. Okay. This inspired the kids that are in his book, Susan, Peter, and Edmund and Lucy. That's pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna add some more hairs in here. Um, it, and it took, you know, sometimes you think, oh man, they're so lucky. They, they wrote that amazing book. It took them 10 years to write the book. Um, because greatness doesn't come, it takes work. That's like when I do like big giant paintings and stuff, my art kids are like, why can't we just do paintings like that? Well, these are like six to 10 year olds. And I'm like, um, so that painting took about 60 hours and you're here for an hour. We're just gonna start off with the small stuff. So it, it just takes time and patience. And uh, so if you get a little frustrated with something, just keep working at it, okay? And you can add a few more extra pieces of hair in here. So we're gonna sharpie it and then I'm gonna show you how to color it. So let's sharpie.
Okay, before I erase, I'm gonna add some little wisp of hair. Okay, I'm gonna erase everything, but I'm gonna try to be careful not to erase around there. Okay, I'm going to start with the eyes. So you're gonna make it darker at the top, press down hard, and then around here, you are not going to color it. Now you're gonna do it very lightly. See how I just made it slightly light? So same thing on this. You know what, I'm just gonna do one side. Okay, so dark, and then you're gonna come in with your yellow, and then color that in yellow. It just makes it look like it pops. And then you can take a touch of brown and just go a little bit on the top. Might do a touch more yellow I and mean then green. Okay, that looks great. Okay, we are done with those colors. And then for the nose, I'm going to color it in just regular pink. And then I'm gonna come in with a little um, mahogany red. A little bit here. I think I used red, this mahogany. Do I have red over here? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm just gonna do red and then we'll put a touch of brown in there in a minute so i'm just gonna go around the outside red and then i'm just gonna do a little bit of brown around two little bits do the same thing on the other side okay so that one's done now i'm going to get um i think i used a golden yellow this is a that golden yellow So go, do not go on here. If you want, you can erase these so they don't look so, so let's erase these a little bit. I can see them, but you don't want them to be standing out because that's where we're not going to color. So now you're gonna color the whole lion, but not in those areas, okay? So you just generally color the whole thing. Oh, also don't color in here on this side. And then the nose. You're not gonna color in here, okay? But you wanna color everything else yellow. And then we'll be adding other colors too. But we're gonna start with yellow. Don't go in here. So you can even go in, especially the ends of the hair, color all of the hair. We'll come in with different colors, but we're getting a good base in there. I don't, I might have read the books when I was a kid and I know I've seen the movies. It's just been a long, long time. I did see somebody on Pinterest, they made their kid's closet into a wardrobe. Like it just looked like a little wardrobe in their wall. And then they'd open it up and it has like, behind the wardrobe is like a another's like secret room. And it was like a playroom. It was the coolest thing ever. I was impressed. Okay, also don't do in here, because that's kind of white. But the main you can do. Okay, so now we're gonna come in with the tan color, and then we are going to add color to it. So if you want it to look like hair, you want it to follow the flow of the hair. So we're just gonna come in here. And I'm trying to make it look like hair is in here. We're gonna come in with darker color too, but we'll start with this. Go around the eyes. And then I'm just making it look like hair. I'm just following the flow here. I'm gonna make some hairs coming this way. Oh, that's looking good. Okay, come up here. We're gonna make it look like hair. Uh, I'm gonna do a slight color around the nose and a slight color 
under the nose. And I think I went all over the tan. I'm gonna go around all of the whisker areas. Bloop, bloop, bloop. See how I did that? I'm gonna put a little bit of color in here. Just a little bit. It's gonna be mostly white. Uh, I'm just gonna blend it a little. I'm gonna put some dark brown in there too, but we'll start with that. And then around here, you can color this in as it comes out, just do less. We'll come in with brown too, but. And then do some hairs. Don't go all the way to the end. We want it to look like it's like darker and it's gonna come out light. A gorgeous mane. This is his ear. Sorry, ear. Oh, we don't do that side. And around the, the lines, I go a little higher, harder, harder, harder. All right, so let's come in with um, brown, just regular brown, yes. This is where we're gonna come in and I'll do some extra long hair. So I'm just making it look like hairs, but so just making everything like lines. Uh, over its eyebrow, right here. Just do little lines to make it look like it's hair. here, make some lines. Mm, I think that's looking good. And you can do the same thing along the edge here. So I'm just going to go along the edge with my brown just to make it extra hard. And then we'll make the hairs come in. So I'm gonna come in here and then you can make it just look like hairs are coming out. If you want to add some more, like maybe like a red tone in there and some black in there, we'll see what that looks like. Hold on. Also, we want a shadow in here. Uh, let's try just a touch of a red tone. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of red. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, I think that looks good. Just putting in a couple of hairs of red. Oh yeah, I like that. Put a couple of reds, and then you come in with a little bit of black. I make this down here, I make this look like a little black. And along the edge here, we'll put it a little darker. And then paint some little black tones in there. So you just keep working on it until you get it to the right touch you want, okay? All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.